what's going on guys in this rumble match we're going to be going rhino hunting against rhino lotus and friends so this very well might be the very last rumble match that i will be able to record from this current rumble so i figured we're going to go out on a mythical note that's right baby we're running with all mythics in this deck we're going to have a mythical halloween party with all of these disguise cards we're going to dress up all of those mythics first up i drew my leela there Dang it, I really wish I didn't lead with the witch's costume because I really want to make that Clavarella, so... Decisions, decisions. This would be a smart move right now to kind of just deal with the boy witch and get rid of it. Um, I could do Leela down here and go for the Clavarella over there and just hope that the witch's costume lives long enough where I can draw another character to get the combo there. This is probably the smarter move for the score though, however. That payback is going to be a bitch though, so you know what? Screw it, let's risk this a bit. I'm gonna lead with the Leela over here and make that Clavarella and hopefully we get a better draw to heal on up in slot one there. Because I want to have some fun with this match and Clavarella is a lot more fun. Alright, they dropped the Heavy Metal Haley double combo mastery there for the pre-combo. So kind of glad I defended over there now because I'm gonna need something to take that down. Alright, and I drew the Stewie, so I think I can actually leave, leave on Leela alone there. Could do the Stewie for the um the Red Riding Stewie there. Not my favorite combo, but if I don't do anything, Witch's Costume will die, and that would be bad. What's the alternative? If I do the Clobberella now... Actually, Clobberella now gives me the Motivate there. I do believe that puts me over the edge to drop the Boy Witch, no problem. So you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and do that. Look at that sexy babe right there. We got the double buff on her too. She's also addicted, so she's going to be getting those free heals as well as the attack buff. So it's actually a great move on that. What the hell? Was it not enough? Did the motivate not trigger, or was it just not enough to not do the math there right? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was too distracted by Clopperella. Oh well, there goes the witch's costume. That sucks. That hurt a bit. I might have might have made a boo-boo there. At least the heavy metal Haley will be falling, which is what I need to happen. Um, let's do my trippy Zoidberg, because it will get free heals from the battleground effect over here. I think that's the move that has to happen there, because I need to defend over here in that open slot the next turn. Wait, do I? I make the right combos here, I could end it next turn too. Ah, screw it, we'll just do that for the free heals. It might be better to expand my card wall anyways. I don't know, I'm having fun with this one. But Heavy Metal at least is falling, so that will benefit me a bit. Boom. Look at that, she's already up to almost 100 attack. What is that, 25 craze with the buff from Disguised right now? It's insane. Alright, taking a lot of damage on this one, so not going to be the prettiest of scores. Is it over this turn? I'm pretty sure it is, and I will get my leech from the trippy Zoidberg there, so he'll be back up at full. Clavarella should be at full, so let's just play my highest HP card out on the field for my Stewie there, and hopefully that's enough to give me a decent score, because I did take quite a bit of damage. Got my Roger's Closet, so I can make the Devil if I need to. Running a couple Hanks in this deck, because I don't have enough Mythics to make an entire deck of Mythics, unfortunately. Could do the Medieval Hank too, I do like that, so... Oh man, decisions, decisions. I'll lead with the Roger's Closet, we might go the Devil route to open. They do the Dr. Zoidberg, I am feeling the Devil. Didn't draw the Leela, so yeah, let's go ahead and get Devil Hank set up there. It's gonna be the smart move for points. Alright, didn't one-shot it, it's okay though, the gas is flowing. They dropped the Amy Wong, that is concerning because that's probably in there for a wing nut, which will be very bad. Do you have my Jimmy Jr. horse costume there to make Cat Stan is really nice. Wouldn't be a bad counter to the Wingnut should they make it. Um, I'll go ahead and lead with the Stan and just hope they don't combo because then I have the sturdy walls there to block the attack from Amy. If they do combo though, it's going to hurt a lot. Ah, freaking course they combo. Shouldn't even be surprised. AI loves boning me every chance it gets. And because I'm not running my Zap Brannigan hero, it actually is not over with that direct attack in slot 1 there. So, I think I do need to make the combo here to kind of just, um, minimize damage. That gives me 11 cripple all on the hijack, which is nice, but it's not going to be going another turn after this, I don't think. What does Roger's Closet get me? That's 21 cripple, which limits the damage I'll be taking more. That might be the better way to go on that. 
Another option is to just let Stan die and just um, build out a wall here. Gotta make sure the math is 100% on that though for that to actually work. So let's take a look at the numbers. Pretty sure with wing nuts everything, it'll probably still take it out. So I might just wanna do high HP stuff over here then instead to just um, block that out. What's the bodyguard on Devil Hank? Is it up yet? No, it's not. Um, I don't know if it would be higher than the Brian statue, but the bodyguard to block some of the punches would be good to help limit the damage I'm taking too. I just don't want to limit too much of it's the question. I wonder if Jimmy Jr. horse costume would be too much bodyguard or not to block that out and just like completely bone me. I don't know if that would be too much. I think that might be a good move to go in case the punches land on stand, so could go with that. I don't know. It's all relative. Screw it. Let's just go high HP stuff. We'll go ahead and do the um the boy witch over here and hopefully Stan dies. At this point, he's just going to be a sacrifice. Ah, the motivate went to Stan. It's ending it. Damn it. Oh, well, at least I got a high HP card there. All right, I went ahead and changed my hero because John Redcorn has been proving to be more of a nuisance than um, helpful for those first couple of matches. So I'd rather just switch it up to Ricky Spanish for something that's a bit more reliable. Which, unlike RNG, Jesus, not an item in sight. Well, let's go ahead and leave with my hardest hitting character then with the Leela and hope I draw one of the many Rogers closets in this deck. Damn it, still no item, so I'm gonna need to get something going. Um, Boy Witch Steve would be the smart bet here to get some bodyguard on that. <sighs> it's so tempting to play the Mythic, but I gotta be a little bit smart here in case Leela does fall, so we'll get the Boy Witch out there. All right, they didn't go for the combo, works for me. Devil Bobby would have been scary to deal with. Could really use that Roger's Closet draw. Damn it, I got the Witch's Costume, not the one I want, because, well, that's a great combo. It's not gonna get me the heals that I want, so I think we're gonna leave that alone. What we will do, though, is with the Witch's Costume, I can go for the Summer Guy, which will give me some heals there. Alternatives are uh, Red Riding Stewie sucks, and uh, Louis Scissorhand's not bad for the bombs and jab, but I really need heals, so we're gonna lead with Dr. Zoidberg because he's high HP, and that's probably the combo I'm gonna make next turn, unless I can draw a Roger's Closet. Of course, we gotta wait for the connection to get a little bit better before we can figure that out. I still don't know why the connection is so bad right now. I still am playing on like 100 download speed and like 12 to 15 uploads, so no reason it should be that slow. I really wish the developers would fix that. Come on, give me other Roger's Closet draw here. Damn it, getting all of my mythics. Okay, well I definitely want to have the heal in there now though, so we will go ahead and make Summer Guy. I think because of the, the leech from Boy Witch, I'm guaranteed for the heal to go to Leela, which is where I need it to go. Here's hoping they don't combo into a Devil Hank. Alright, I it's not a Devil Hank, that's what matters. Devil would have sucked. That still hurts because of the boost it's getting, but hey. Come on, give me that Roger's Closet. Thank you. We can go ahead and combo up to Clavarella. Gives me the free heals on her since she's the double buff. I think that'll give me enough to hopefully make this 100 if I didn't take too much damage. I might have taken too much damage because I'm not getting the heal over here. And I'm getting payback. Yeah, no way that's 100. All right, next up is Nina's. As fun as it is playing with all the mythics, it is horrible for score. Uh, we can do Cat Stan, Owl Stewie, or Jouster. I do like the look of Owl Stewie as a potential opener there. I'll lead with the item for now. Roger's sexy shorts. So yeah, I am feeling that Owl Stewie for that punch and cripple all combo there. I think that's my best move. One more time, Cat Stan also has the cripple all and the hijack is really nice. Um, and Jouster Peggy's cool, but I have other things I would rather do. What can Roger's Closet do for me? Ooh, I can make Baby Duck Stewie with that. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna go ahead and just do the um, cat stand and we'll do the Stewie combo with Roger's Closet because I still get Cripple All and it gives me Motivate, which is a great slot too there to have support. And they made Frido. That's gonna hurt a bit. At least I have to hijack there to steal the crazes from it. I am gas though, so that hurts. Let's go ahead and do my Roger's Closet first for that, um, for that Motivate to do a bit more damage. Hopefully Bodyguard will block some of that gas. Oh, blocked a good chunk of it. It's just the payback that's hurting me there. And look at that, I'm hijacking all of this. That's great. It's gonna be a devastating hit on this next hit. Do need a way to heal up my um, cat stand though. I think by doing the Stewie combo here though, with all that HP, it's gonna increase the bodyguard. So that should block out the gas entirely. 
Let's do that. We got a nice cripple all wall set up there. That's going to be 23 cripple all between them. And Cat Stan's attack is way the hell up there. Please play a card in slot one. Have a defending card. Thank you. I need to stretch this out to get some heals. All right. And is it going to be over this turn? I don't think so. I think it's still going to go. The smart move here would be to do high HP for the Boy Witch Steve, but we have a Mythic in the wings here, and I can't make a Nun Peggy, so you know what? Let's keep the Mythical Dream alive. We're going for a Mythic Party. Like I said, this is going to be a Mythical Halloween. Should be over this next turn, so I will combo up the Peggy into the Nun Peggy, because that's going to be a fantastic screenshot, which will probably be the video thumbnail. Look at that. Nun Peggy's such a great combo. Sturdy Wall, Leech, a metric ton of bomb, it's just amazing. All right. What do we got here? All items and no characters. Tight. Oh, man. I do want to kind of lead with the Roger's Closet in case I draw the Leela, but that's only like a, a 1 in 10 chance of that. Witch's Costume is probably the better option just for the combo variety. And even if I draw one of the Hanks, I can still make the, um, the Devil, so... That's probably my safest bet out of the batch there. Especially with that sturdy wall if I miss the draw. Which of course I miss the draw. And that has hijack. Oh, this is great. That has hijack and every single card I have in the hand right now has motivate. So no matter what I do, shit's getting hijacked. It only has six hijack though, so as long as I do either the Jimmy um, Jr. horse costume or the trippy Zoidberg, it can't steal everything. I think I'm gonna wanna do the um the Jimmy Jr. there for the bodyguard, and it's another item, so if Witch's Costume falls, then I at least can make another combo there. All right, they didn't go for the combo, works for me. I am gonna need to deal with this though, so come on, give me a good draw. All right, I will take it, Dr. Zoidberg. Let's go ahead and, how do I wanna play this? Ooh, I like that. If I put the Z Summer Guy in slot two, Witch's Costume is also a healer. They can be healing each other up. I like the look of that a lot. Especially because the Peggy has me concerned if they combo it, that could be bad. So let's go ahead and set this up in slot two there. Beat them to that combo. And we'll gas the Peggy. So let's heal Witch's costume up back to full. Boom. I'll be taking some payback damage there, but it's okay. Witch's costume can heal it back up next turn. Yikes, that paddling Peggy. Good thing for the bodyguard from the paddle ground effect that should block a good chunk of that punch, hopefully. Yep. Does have craze, but who cares? I'm going to be... Actually, crazy didn't even go off. It couldn't break through the wall. Ha! Works for me. Still didn't get the draw I quite wanted, so that sucks. Um, could do the Jimmy Jr. horse costume over here again for some more bodyguard. I think that's more than what I'm currently getting granted by the, any of these cards. Um, it will give me motivate to the summer guy, which is good. Trippy Zoidberg gets the free heals and also gives me the motivate, so that's not a bad way to go either on that. Um, kind of feeling that route for the free heals because I'm a little worried about this setup right here. So I do need to drop that um, Equestronaut costume. Yikes, okay, and they made burgers and fries Luis. Those bombs and that gas, thank God for the bodyguard, but come on, give me, at this point, probably a hank for the leech is what I need. Hello, all right, that should help me out a lot. And I think if I play this just right, I can make this 100 now all the heals and stuff I'm going to be getting. It was a good punch. I needed that punch there. Actually, no, it was a bad punch. The gas is going to end the burgers and fries. Wait, no, it's not. That's right, bodyguard. Thank you, bodyguard. And then I think even if the punch hits again, I'm still safe. So we're in a really good spot there. Highest HP card because it is most definitely over here. Let's see if I can get 100 out of it. All right. Look at that, we can already make Nun Peggy right out of the gate. I love it. And then what are my options for Bob? I can also do Dr. Bobenstein too. Oh, talk about a great draw. Not so good there. Uh, both of these make Nun Peggy and both make the Bobenstein. So let's lead with Strength, and then we'll decide which way to take that. I think I want to open up with Bobenstein and then try to set up the Nun Peggy next turn. Drew the Stewie too. Hello, Mythics. Ooh, that's a double combo mastery on the sandwich. Very nice. I do like the idea of getting Bobenstein set up there, so I think that's how I'm gonna play that. Won't get me the, um, won't take it out though, and that's a pre-combo. If I leave Witch's costume alone, how does that work for me? 
actually it's not too bad because I have the leech anyways. I think I might just want to do that. And then we can set up the Stan's Haunted House over here in that slot. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to play a little bit of defense here. Book of Spells, that has scary potential. I'm going to want to deal with that. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the Nun Peggy now over, I think, in this slot. It's the way I want to do that. What happens if I do it over here? <laughs> the bombs will take care of the Book of Spells for me, which is actually really nice. That actually is not a bad way to go just to deal with that entirely. I think that's the better move over this. As fun as this is to stall that out, I might as well just go for the definitive kill on the Book of Spells, because Sandwich is not going to be a problem if I have the Nun Pecky here blocking it. So let's go ahead and do that. Book of Spells has me a lot more worried than that free combo. Look at that, even with a weak item to make it for the base, it's still killer for the stats. Oh, that's right, Bodyguard. I forgot about that. Shit. Okay, Book of Spells didn't go down. The definitive kill would have been in slot two there. Luckily, they did not combo, so I just have to keep playing catch up here a bit, but no big deal. I can make it work. And I actually see exactly how I want to make it work, too, because I have the Jimmy Jr. horse costume. I can make Owl Stewie over there, so I am digging that as the move. Versus Roger's Closet gives me the other Stewie combo, but let's start showing off some new combos here. Let's see if we can get another mythical picture. There's the bomb damage. Cripple's guaranteed to go to Fry, so that's going to help out a lot. Oh, and it's over because they comboed there because of the direct damage I'm going to be doing. That is unfortunate. So let's go ahead and, um, I guess make the Bobbinstein because I can. Smarter move for score would have been a high HP in the open slot here, but I do want to show off some of these mythic combos while we have the chance. It would be really fun and really stupid if I can get a bunch of mythic combos out on the field to try to get all of them in a rumble match, but that would be insane for what I would need to do to make that happen. Uh, we'll go ahead and lead with Roger's um, closet there. We'll see. If I can do the stand combo, I will. Because it's fun. Will Devil Hank kill the lowest griffin? I think it would still survive, so it wouldn't get the kill. Uh, screw it. Let's do the mythic. Just to show it off. Show off that sexy, cowardly lion. At least they didn't combo the lowest. That works for me. Ah, man. You know what? Screw it. Let's see if we can get the mythic combos on the field. Luis is a stupid move in this situation, but if I can get mythic combos, let's go for it. All right, they made Shoplift Attic Lois. This is where it's going to get bad. This might be a loss. My, um... <laughs> my ego here to try to get the the mythics might have backfired horrendously on this now oh yeah it did can't even combo that with luis there what does that do with hank gives me a medieval hank for some heals that actually is probably my best bet in this situation so we're gonna leave the item there oh man this backfired so bad <laughs> if only i opened with the devil hank like i should have that would have dealt with the shoplift pretty easily and they dropped the Brian statue, of course they did. So Cowardly, Cowardly Lion is still living, so is Luis. Let's go ahead and make that combo for the Medieval Hank and hopefully I get the right heals that I need, but not looking good. Let's go ahead and get that Medieval Hank set up there for the Bodyguard and the heals. Got a little bit of boost to the Luis too, but Jesus. I should check how close this match is after this um, fight too, because I've been screwing around a lot. And if we end up losing the match, it's probably all on me. It's probably my fault for that. All right, half dog Jean, that's going to be annoying. Am I losing sexy, uh, the sexy cowardly lion? No, not yet. It's hanging in there, but shoplift addict's not going anywhere. So not a good situation to be in. It's actually a very bad situation that I'm in right now. Drew the bob. So, tight. Um, can't play it now, though. I need to actually have something going on here. So, Trippy Zoidberg's probably the smart move here for the Motivate. It gets free heals, and it gets the addictive buff to the attack to try to make some holes in the wall, because I'm kind of in a race against the clock at this point. Good cripple. Minimize the damage I'll be taking. Not the heal I would have liked. Oh, and there's the Waynut Amy. They really push me against the clock here. Thank God for the 41 bodyguard to block out those punches, but Jesus. If I somehow win this match, I will be astonished. So highest HP card needs to go down over here to block now. So that's going to be my Boy Witch Steve. Oh geez, here we go. Not sure how this is going to go. It might even still already be a loss here, but we'll see. Brian's statue's falling, so I got that going for me. 
bad heal. I needed that to go to Luis. If it went to Luis, I had a chance, but I think I'm done now. I think that ended me. Yeah, I'm losing slot one and two. That's my loss right there. That's what I get for screwing around. Good shit, Jew the Jew. All right, so it looks like we still have a pretty substantial lead, so we'll keep playing with this wacky deck of mine. Um, yeah, we'll leave with the item, why not? Maybe I'll draw one of the Mythics. That's the whole point of this deck, is to have fun with the Mythics. Wish I had more of the Mythics so I can just run nothing but them. Well, I guess we're going with the uh, Medieval Hank, since that's all I can do. Another Chinchilla, just keeping me on the edge of my seat here. Waiting for that combo to drop. Witch's costume. I can definitely get that set up for the um, the devil over there. We'll leave with the item. Alright, and the wingnut has come down upon me. Thank god for the bodyguard. And the hijack too, that's right, I forgot about that. That actually is a good thing to counter that. Let's go ahead and get a devil in there into the mix to get some punches flowing. Actually, I might have been better off leaving the witch's costume for the heels now that I think about it. That might have been a bad move. Yikes, because the Medieval Hank was the thing that was going to help me out a lot there. All right, I just need punches from Devil Hank to land on Wingnut then to help drop her sooner. All right, what else can I do here? Uh, let's go ahead and throw out a... Do I want to do Boy Witch? Because I'm probably going to have to fill the hole in slot one next turn. And Brian's statue is probably the way I want to do that. Actually, no. You know what? Brian's statue over here, we're going to save the Boy Witch for some payback over there. And the Motivate right now is going to help me do more direct damage over here. Because once I lose slot one, it's a race against the clock for that wing nut there. Yep, there goes Medieval Hank. But because of my Motivate on the Devil Hank there, it's my win with the direct attack next turn. So I actually took kind of minimal damage there. Well, until that freaking punch happened. That hurt a lot. Still took minimal damage to what it could have been with a freaking Wingnut um, Amy Combo Mastery level 2. Devil Hank, do you have enough attack? No, you don't. You lost... What'd you lose your attack from? Was Medieval Hank having Motivate? Did you... Oh, you got crippled. Damn it. Okay. Crap. Let's go ahead and do the Boy Witch then. Just to defend a bit longer. This might actually turn into a loss now. Shit. Give me a good punch on Wingnut, please. Oh, come on, you keep targeting the stupid card. Wrong card. Oh, Jesus. Come on, don't cripple Devil Hank. Devil Hank needs to get me that win. Are you kidding me? RNG Jesus, you're a real bastard. You know that? All right, so need to go more high HP over here. Don't want to do Motivate this time because that has hijack, so that's all sorts of bad. Which is going to be um, better in the long run, Stewie or the Stan? Stan's got the 12 sturdy wall there, which is nice. Stewie has 17 leech though, and more base HP. So I think longevity wise, that's better. And I could do baby duck for the cripple all shit I need it. So let's lead Stewie. Punch wing nut. Are you kidding me? Every target is like the absolute worst target. Don't cripple Devil Hank. Devil Hank needs his attack. Are you kidding me? Both of them? Are you serious? Okay, you know what? I think I can still win here. What's that? 14 Motivate? It's still breaking through enough to take out the Hypno Toad. I think that's the best move I can make here. Let's Before I commit to that, let's take a look. I have 47 HP left. Alright, no, it would not be enough with the, um, with how much hijack that thing has on me. So I still need to defend here to have any chance of winning this so highest hp card out over here the only way it would have worked is if devil hank's punches went on the hypno toad but honestly i'm not trusting RNGs jesus to have my back on this one see look it would have missed so best thing i could have did there get my leech here so i think by doing that i'm in hopefully a good spot to win here nope they make crack addict fish in the open slot that direct attack i think is going to end me for this match here depends where the punches from burger addict teddy goes but i think i'm still boned so f you are in jesus Oh my god, I actually held out. We just barely held out. Holy shit. Okay, it's a win. It's an ugly as hell win, but I will take it. Highest HP card to maximize this shitty score. 
All right, what we got up here next? No time to spare. Yeah, I got no time to spare after those last couple matches. They were they were pretty brutal. Could go devil, and then I do like the idea of having the baby duck Stewie in the wings there in slot two, so that's probably the way I'm going to play that. We're cutting those last ones a little too close. I want to play these a little bit smarter, especially when they open with a freaking mythic Peggy. Yeah, we're not around on that. Devil Hank, let's go. Gas that thing. Who even cares about the gas? Just one shot it. Even better. I'll take that. All right. And I got the Dr. Zoidberg there. Let's go ahead and lead with the, um, crap. Do I want to set up the summer guy or do I want to commit to the Stewie? Both are pretty good. What happens if I do the trippy Zoidberg? That also might just get me the, the hundred there because it's giving me the motivate to just one shot. Then again, it might already be enough to one shot on its own there. We're looking at like 60 some damage. Yeah, I think the one shot's already guaranteed to happen anyway, so let's go ahead and just lead with the Roger's Closet and I'll commit to the Stewie in that slot. Hottie's Bill. Well, yeah, we're gonna one shot that, no problem with that baby duck for that extra bit of motivate there. Nothing can live in slot one now. I'm in a pretty secure spot for that, um, that hundred, hopefully. I'm taking payback damage, but where's the payback damage? Oh, I bet baby duck was getting shielded by my Ricky Spanish there. Nice. Well, since payback is going to be a thing, I see no reason why I shouldn't go and set up the summer guy for some free heals in there. Does that also make it? Yes, it does. We're going to lead Roger's Closet because it's slightly higher HP. It also has the motivate for more direct damage, and we'll get a summer guy set up to block that, um, not block, to heal up that payback should I need that heal. Which, looking at that, I most likely will. Of course, Baby Duck's going to end it before that even happens now. But it's okay, I get my heals from the Ricky Spanish anyway, so we'll still make the Summer Guy combo. That should be 100 still. Alright, and last match is up against Rubathor. What do we got for my options here? Louis Scissorhands, Burger Wars, and Dragon Costume. Eh, I'll lead with the Roger's Closet because I have all three options, including Hank there as a potential there. Doing? Drew the Stand. Could go the sexy cowardly lion, but that lost me the last time we did that, so probably not the smartest move. Uh, honestly, I think Burger Wars is going to be the smart bet here for that punch. Well, the smart bet honestly would have been the um, the Devil Hank, but we're going to try doing all mythics again here and see how this works for us. Alright, bedtime stories. It's a card I can't say I've seen played too often, so kind of cool. Jimmy Jr., you do go with Stan, so that's going to be a good one. Let's go ahead and lead Stan for the sturdy wall. Going to end this the same way we started, with a mythical Halloween party, dressing them all up. Let's go ahead and get Jimmy Jr. horse costume on that, get Cat Stan going. Gave me a nice little recover there for 35, really jacking up the HP. Got the one shot on the Bobby to avoid that payback. Cripple All is going to be limiting the damage I'm taking, and Bedtime Stories, scratch that, Jouster Peggy can no longer craze, because I have Hijack there. Look at that. Who cares you have 35 Bodyguard? The only card there. I don't care. Stan's Haunted House, you go with Luis. That's great. So let's go ahead and lead with the, um, I'm going to lead with the item, just because if I draw a different Mythic, I might do that, but if not anything, we have Burgers and Fries there. All right, they drop the Mythic Stewie. No big deal. Means we can get this going a bit longer if we want. I think it's definitely over here, though, so let's go ahead and make that burgers and fries. And there we go. We got our little mythical Halloween costume party there. What's more, it's a bunch of little odd duck ones that we wouldn't normally see, so kind of a cool way to go out. Look at that HP on Bob. 125 HP. Jesus. 140 HP. All right, and that's gonna do it for all 10 of my hits against Rhino, Lotus, and friends in this Addicted Disguise Rumble. We had some stupid fun with that um, mythical deck there for those um, disguise combos. So not the smartest deck to run for score by any means. I definitely could have um, gone 10 for 10 had I been using an actual deck made to do well in Rumble, but hey, I had fun with it. So good fight, guys. It was a lot of fun. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and my suffering. If you did, please be sure to click that like button and definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It'll mean the world to me. And also feel free to click that bell icon so you get notified of new uploads as soon as they go up. Thanks again, guys. Peace.